what does it do and uh, uh, how are you looking to uh, maximize uh, your reach? So what Extend does is develop uh, what we call extended reality technology to allow people to essentially uh, uh, see reality from the perspective of the drone. Technology uh, allows us to experience very rich video in real time and uh, has a 3D uh, flight mechanics that allows anybody to learn how to fly with a, a great amount of accuracy within a few seconds. So without this technology, um, it requires a lot of time to become proficient at drones to be able to fly accurately. And with our technology, essentially you can do um, uh, a great deal of applications that are not possible without. For example, you can do a public safety inspection. Uh, police officers, firefighters, they can get inside a building, which today is almost um, impossible without the commercial uh, the commercial drones. So essentially, we can take a drone like this, which will go up to uh, about 300 kilometers per hour, and anybody can learn how to fly within seconds. It's very, very accurate. What kind of interest do you see in countries like India and uh, specifically Asia? Of course, Asia is very developed, but yeah. uh, with respect to India, it's a booming economy. It, uh, uh, it's attracting all kinds of uh, uh, developed uh, technologies. Uh, we're, we're, we're open to investments and investors and startups. Uh, what kind of scope do you see in the country? Essentially, uh, an emerging market allows us to uh, take an application which can scale easily in terms of the technology and the functionality. Right. And uh, if I compare it with uh, sort of a, a, a market like the United States, uh, that market already has a lot of bureaucratic, uh, um, bureaucratic slowdowns in right. terms of, uh, for example, unmanned aerial vehicles. It's very difficult to take something that can be of great value and implement it very quickly. An emerging market has more incentive to really push the technology. I see three places where you can use your drone in, a, in an emerging economy like India. So a couple of areas. Uh, first is what we call uh, uh, public safety. Um, anywhere from paramilitary, uh, think of it like a super, like the future soldier. This can replace essentially uh, most of what a soldier would do. Uh, same thing for a police department. It can uh, really eliminate any kind of uh, uh, threat situations that a police officer or firefighter might be in. Right. Um, and uh, beyond that, it goes into the areas of public inspection. Right. Uh, we can do anywhere from security patrols to more uh, general inspection like the nuclear plants, uh, oil rigs. Uh, it really allows somebody to, to act very efficiently uh, without needing to physically be in that location. And uh, beyond that, we have a great market of uh, what we call the, uh, um, the extended reality, so anywhere from gaming to, um, to uh, virtual tourism.